This is, <laughs> this is so rad. I feel like, you know, it's like it's, it's in its final form. This is the new and improved Bell Air case from C4 Labs. They sent this to me. It's gonna work for the Raspberry Pi 3, 3B, and 4. And now with the uh, extra top piece there with a 40 millimeter fan, it comes with heat sinks. This uh, laser etched wood case is definitely a showcase case. Really cool, really digging it. So in this video, it's just an easy install video and then we'll run a couple temp tests. But uh, it's not a super high performance uh, case as much as just a functional, good, solid case. But let's check it out. All right, next on the chopping block is the new Bell Air case. And the cool thing about this now is it has this little <laughs> engine <laughs> carb thing on the top um, that uh, you could put the fan in. That's so cool. All right, so I'm excited to check that out. Cool packaging. You got the fan and the hardware, and then you got the actual case here. So I really like two things about this case. Number one, that is wood, and it has that wood, burnt wood, it actually has like a burnt wood smell to it, which actually smells kind of good. Um, depends who you are, right? Some people like the smell of gas, some people don't. And then it's got these, I know there's a term for this, but like natural edging, where basically the way you cut it makes the wood flexible, so flexible joints. So it's all actually one piece that has just been laser etched. And like some of these burn marks, I mean that just happens when you, you know, use these machines where there's a laser cutter or whatever he's using. It's got a little USB logo. It's really cool though, I mean look at that. Look at that and it stretches. This is gonna be the top, oh that's so cool. Let's just look at that. Very cool stuff. Um, got all that. Look at how, look, look how specific that is. Some more burn marks on this one. A lot of that just comes right off though. It looks like if you just rub it. Okay. It does not come with this little bottom piece. I'm not going to be putting the heat sinks on just because I use this pie for a lot of videos and some cases don't require a, don't allow for a heat sink. I didn't know something about his heat sinks though is he has like it's way easier to take these off. It's got a little buddy here. Always remove your SD card from your pie, by the way. So kind of a cheeky thing they did here was <laughs> rather than etch two little holes, they just built one big HDMI hole. <laughs> Which I'm not mad about. I could see why you'd want to do that versus, you know, two little tiny holes. It's a lot of work. Plus, what do you supposed to say? HDMI, HDMI. And then all of a sudden, the text is so small. You got to get rid of the text. So a lot of design decisions had to be made there. Okay. Okay, well, they said I don't even need the pie yet. So I don't know why I got, I got a little excited there. So that's the bottom, right? So here you go. Following the instructions, SD card out on the right side. And they want you to use this. Oh, it is. this is the piece. They're just doing it backwards. I see. So that goes in. Boom. Okay. Step two, mount the pie. So you're gonna want a bunch of these and a bunch of those. You're gonna want a bunch of these and a bunch of those. From the sounds of that, we put the screw in and then the brass nut and then the pie and then the brass nut. So I got the four risers in and I wanna go ahead and put this piece back on. I know I wasn't following directions there because they want you to put that piece because these ports stick out a little bit into these pieces here, right? So you want to make sure you get it so you don't have to slide it on after. See, like right now I'm having a little bit of fitment. See, there it goes. Now it snaps in. Okay. And then now the last thing is to put the top of the nut, the br next brass nut on. I have brass nut, pie, brass nut, but those are all being because of the screws on the bottom. Now, the pie properly mounted on the base. Next up is the other side. Pretty self-explanatory, you know, side with no graphics stays 
on the inside of the case, not the outside. All right, now they want to mount the fan. So it's actually this top here. There is this little etching here, which goes the non outputs. So I have my HDMI on the left. It's going to go like that. I'm actually going to reorient to this to the go to follow the instructions. And I think they left two holes here in case you want to exhaust it or if you want to blow it on. But maybe we'll see later. Maybe those holes do something else. Um, but I'm going to have it shoot down on it. So I'm going to go ahead and have it like this. And you have the screws go down from the top. So you only have four long screws left and four nuts. These time the nuts are just normal nuts. So screw and nut. All right, fans on. Now you want to plug in the fan. So you have the back of the GPIOs over here, the back row closest to us on the left side row. Um, either of these first two are both positives. It's just the third pin on the left from closest to up is the ground. If you want to go fast fan, just any of those two first pins on that side, or if you want to go slow fan 3.3 volts, just do it on this other row that we haven't been talking about yet. The one closest to the CPU, just that corner piece is also a positive, but it's a, it's a less voltage, so it's not going to spin the fan as fast. Now, eventually, this is going to go back there, so let me go ahead and wire this. You're going to grab it, and then you're going to fold this over, and just see so you have this slot, this slot, you have this one, this one, this one, and that one that all need to fit in. I'm just going to do two at a time here, and uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, I've got two there, got two there, see, look at that. And then, uh, now we got to do the front plate and the back plate. So this is the front of it, right? This is the front of the unit, the back of the unit. So we got to show our blowers in the front. Okay, and that's pretty obvious because the back doesn't have any etching on it. Okay, and then the back, pretty simple, doesn't have etching on it. And then the final piece. Look, this is, <laughs> this is so rad. I feel like, you know, it's like it's, it's in its final form. Now, I'm curious how necessary these pieces are. Like, is that fan going to want to fly away? Anyways, don't forget if this pulls off your fan to plug that back in. Okay, nice, nice snaps here. Real nice snaps. And there it is. Wow. Oh, shoot. That is cool. Like I said, I love this detail here. That is so cool. And it's a backwards compatible case too. You guys realize that? That you can easily put a 3B in here too. Very cool. Reminds me of the Supra. No, it doesn't. Reminds me of an old school like Mustang or something. So I did want to share with you that that's pretty cool that the LED light and the loading light both have indicators that show through on the case. The other thing is just how loud this case is. Because of that cover, it really dampens a lot of that sound. I have it on full speed right now. All right, so we are at 39, 38 hovering. Let's go ahead and... Something I would note about this case is that the um, fan is much farther away from the board compared to like the Virtue case. All right, only 44, and it drops pretty fast. Let's see if we can get it any higher, though.
Yeah, so it keeps it from popping too high. And you can see how fast it drops it. And again, you're not going to be running max threads all the time. It's just a test. Again, remember I don't have my heat sinks on and you know what you're actually going to be using the Raspberry Pi for like gaming or whatever is going to totally vary but having the fan having those heat sinks is still going to allow you to overclock your Pi and still play hours on end without overheating issues trust me on that final thoughts um i'm a little wary on the hdmi port like my hdmi cable had a really hard time fitting in there i might want to sand that down a little bit but it depends on what hdmi cable you're using I just I could use a little more space down there, but the power cord was fine, and I can see why I'd be fine with other pies. The SD card slot really easy to get to. The cooling and the cool factor a 10 out of 10, no doubt about that. Um, so overall, I'm liking it, and I like that it's backwards compatible. So another solid case from C4 Labs. That's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.